Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to macOS, you can see that we have a new double pointed software update. And right here, you can see this is macOS Sequoia 15.4.1. That's the double pointed part. And alongside this update, we have a new pro video format update that has to go with that. So you can see when it comes to this macOS Sequoia 15.4.1, Apple actually tells us the release notes of macOS 15.4. For, but because it's a double pointed update the double pointed portion really isn't highlighted here the portion that has to do with that is the one that says that this update contains important bug and security fixes on my m4 mac mini you can see that this update size if we click on the info tab comes in at exactly 6.16 gigs the reason why this update size is actually larger than what most people are seeing is because if we go into the current Mac OS version that I'm on before I update you can see this is Mac OS 15.3.2 with this build number so now what I'm quickly going to do is update my Mac to this new software update and then we're gonna look at some of the new features or changes that this update has to offer just like that my Mac mini has been updated to the latest version now if we go into settings and then go to where it says storage just to see how much Mac OS is taking you can see Mac OS itself is actually taking 20.29 gigs and if I click on the more info tab you can see the version with the build number 24e 263 now that's the latest build number on this version i don't know if you noticed that but my apple intelligent storage is also fluctuating so right now it's at 11.12 gigs but on the previous versions that i was on just before i updated i was averaging about 5.5 gigs so it's essentially more than doubled after your mac has been updated to the latest version this is the screen that you are going to see when you check for a software update there's going to be be a green check mark right there and it's going to tell you the version that you are on and in terms of what's new on a good note the previous double pointed update actually turned on apple intelligence for users that had it off so it's good to see that apple has made that adjustment in the background and then another thing that i noticed is that after you update you're going to see a new welcome to mac screen that has apple intelligence and there's also going to be a new software update complete pop-up screen to tell you that you've updated to the latest version now usually with these double pointed software update they don't typically provide a lot of new features and changes but there are a few changes i would like to highlight with this specific version beginning with the first change which is the safari version so right here you can see the safari version i have is 18.4 which is good the previous update was actually misaligned and you can see the build number that i have that has been updated it's 20621.1.15.11.10 and in terms of what this build patches it's more of a bug fix update no new features have been found at this point in time according to the release notes of this update it mentions that this update improves reliability when installing mac os updates i do have to mention that after i downloaded this update when i installed it my mac restarted but it did stay on a black screen for about 15 to 20 seconds and i would press the space bar and i would hear you know the warning mac OS sound so i'm not sure what they mean by that but apparently it's supposed to improve reliability when installing mac os update now this improvement could be something that we see with the next version since this mac os 15.4.1 is the one that carries this change of this updated improvement just to expand on that this is a fix for m1 plus users who had sonoma installed and attempted to upgrade to mac os 15.4 and it failed multiple times and also for mac os 15.3.1 and mac os 15.3.2 users who tried to update to mac os 15.4 but were experiencing issues so this update fixes and improves the reliability when installing mac os update we are going to see with the next mac os version how that is going to show itself because you know we already have mac os 15.5 in beta 2 for developers and just to keep you in the loop i'll show you some other updates that were released because you know i got carried away but you can see today apple released 
double pointed updates for vision os 2.4.1 we got tv os 18.4.1 mac os 15.4.1 of course you can see that right here we got ipad os and ios 18.4.1 which i do cover most of these updates on the channel so if you want to keep updated and know what's new within these versions definitely do hit like and subscribe so that you don't miss out one of the main reasons why mac os users install these double pointed mac os updates is because of the security patches that they have to offer and you can see if we go to the apple cve page right here when it comes to you know the updates released today actually they made a mistake here they put double ios so ios ios 18.4.1 and ipad os typically things like this rarely happens but it's <laughs> it's unique to see that even apple themselves make errors like that but you can see for example when it comes to mac os sequoia 15.4.1 released today we have some um, security patches or real updates that have been mentioned right here and the first one has to do with core audio now if you don't know what core audio is it's basically the built-in system that handles all sound stuff on a mac and it works quietly in the background to make sure that things just work so for example if you are actually playing music core audio sends the sound to your speakers or if you are connected using headphones core audio makes sure that that proper signal is sent and you can see the issue here with core audio is actually that uh, processing an audio stream in a malicious crafted media file may result in code execution that you might not be aware of or that might not show itself and apple is aware of a report that this may have been exploited in extremely sophisticated attacks specific targeted individuals on ios and yeah this was against those uh specific targeted individuals it's probably not something that might affect you but why take the chance right so you can see and this was uh, the cve right there and then the second security patch that has been uh, mentioned right here that this update fixes or patches has to do with rpac and if you don't know what rpac means that basically is the remote power and audio control it's a system that apple uses to manage how audio and power are handled for things like airports bluetooth devices and accessories so rpac or the remote power and control basically helps your mac talk to wireless devices such as airports or speakers so that sound plays correctly and that the device battery is managed properly and the connection stays smooth and stable but there's always room for you know those that want to do harm to you to exploit and you can see the impact was that an attacker with arbitrary read and write capabilities may be able to bypass pointer authentication which is not a good thing and apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been exploited in an extremely sophisticated attack against um, targeted individuals on ios but you know the mac communicates with the iphone in so many ways you know like sometimes it might be through iphone mirroring it might be through airdrop it might be through a uh, handoff so that's why the same patches that you see with ios 18.4.1 are actually mentioned when it comes to mac os 15.4.1 and yeah this issue was addressed by removing the vulnerable code so it was actually something to do with the code and you can see that is it a coincidence or not that both of these uh patches that are mentioned here have to do with some sort of audio or sound like for example core audio you can see that and then rpac has some sort of audio control right there so it's good to see that apple has patched this we do welcome security patches like this on a good note i wanted to update you that if you're waiting for the first public beta which we had actually not seen for ios 18.5 and of course mac os 15.5 the beta 2 came out a few days ago two days ago that's when the developer beta 2 came out and the first public beta actually came out about 15 hours ago from the time this video goes live i've been covering it right there and if you're waiting for the next mac os update you know now that we are with mac os 15.5 beta 2 i would say the next mac os 15.5 beta might be coming out on the week of the 21st right there or the 22nd and then maybe beta 4 and then we might get an rc on um, may 5th and then 
the official release of macOS 15.5 could officially be coming out on May 12th. That's just my quick take right here. If you are on an older version of macOS such as Ventura or macOS Sonoma, we actually don't have any double pointed updates that were released alongside this, which is unfortunate. But on a good note, I'm happy to let you know that about 15 hours ago, Apple released macOS Ventura 13.7.6 release candidate one and macOS Sonoma 14.7.6 RC1. So if you are on those versions, you might be getting some double pointed updates similar to this pretty soon. In terms of performance, I did run Geekbench 6 scores just to see how this update performs on my M4 Mac Mini. Before the update for single core, I had a score of uh, 3,646. After the update for single core, it went down with 3,089. The previous single core on my previous double pointed update, I had a much, much better score as compared to what I have right here after updating. And then before I updated for multi-core i had 12,500, and then after i updated i also got a lower score 12,169. now these the higher the number the better but maybe if i let things settle in the background and do further geekbench scores this score might actually improve so those are the scores that i have right here now in terms of the battery life like i mentioned i'm using the m4 mac mini so if i go to my power tab this is what you see but yeah maybe what i'm thinking of doing maybe if you wanna advise me in the comments you can let me know i'm thinking of maybe uh selling my m4 mac mini to get an m4 macbook Air, just like the 13 inch m4 macbook air and that way i'll be able to monitor the battery but that's just something that i'm contemplating but i haven't yet made my decision on it so in a quick roundup that's just how this update came in for me on my m4 device if you like this video definitely do hit like and uh, subscribe and don't forget to update so that you get the latest security patches for your mac